hello guys good evening welcome to my channel so this video is not with respect to any recruitment notification or any classes so uh, this was a general topic which i which was uh, striking to my mind every time and because of um, uh, so many attempts or the so many experiences that i had faced in uh, in my life so the common question was should we believe in luck for our government examination so this was a common question like um, there will be some person uh, they will say that uh, if you have passed the exam okay luck was in his hands but is that true is uh, is luck equal to hard work now let us see with an example like uh, how uh, is luck important or not in in any examinations or in our life okay so i'll show you with this uh, um, scorecard of my afcat so uh, you know everyone will be knowing about afcat that is air force common admission test uh, which was uh, uh, i had attempted in 2021 okay and this year also it was called for and uh, i had made a video on it also okay if you had applied for it then uh, this will be a um, you know source of inf inspiration for you all, okay now let us go to see my scorecard so as you can see on the screen this is the uh, scorecard of the pre preliminary test of half cat uh, which i had attended in 2020 okay so as you can see the cutoff marks was 165 the score which i had scored was 166 just plus one marks and this was the second paper EKT. Uh, this was not of my concern because I had concentrated more on this. So if I had cleared this first paper, then I was selected uh, for the second round for other details. Uh, as you can see, the congratulations, you are qualified for next stage of testing. And the different details was provided below. And this was EKT was specific for engineering field, uh, which I was not interested in it, uh, but still I had written, given it a try. Okay. So for this, you can see just to buy a plus one mark uh, because in AFCAT there are 100 questions and three marks each so totally for 300 marks so usually in almost all the AFCAT examination the cutoff was 150 150 to 155 okay so this was the normal trend but so by looking at this cutoff I had fixed my mind that okay I need to attend these many questions so that I can clear the cutoff but see uh, the cutoff for the time which I had written was different it was 165 which was a huge jump it was 150 to 165 means 15 marks jump was present but still uh, I had put all my hard work but still um, I can say yeah luck played a major role here because even though I had put my hard work I had fixed my mind to score about 150 to 155 but uh, in the last 20 to 30 minutes I had time extra time so in that time i decided why oh why to waste the time so let me appeal or uh, uh, answer the questions which i know in the remaining questions so i just gave a random uh, try to the questions which i had left out so by giving them i got almost two to three answers for the questions which i had left out see that was a very important time for me to score the uh, and sc to score and clear the cutoff it was just plus one marks so although I, I was uh, due to some uh, unfavorable condition, I was unable to attend the second round, but still the plus one mark had a very low, uh, very important role in life. So the question is, should we believe in luck? Yeah, we need to believe in luck, but in what percentage is the main matter here? So the 99% of hard work and 1% of luck is the key here. Okay. So if you put your hard work, then the luck will automatically come behind you because see, I put my hard work to uh study for the examination and uh, i had concentrated on the questions and uh, see uh, i had scored already 150 but uh, in the remaining time i don't know why but i still uh, saw the remaining questions which i had left out but after seeing that okay i said i said to myself that uh, let me try these questions also but uh, that i i uh, consider this part of luck is with respect to this itself the last 20 minutes okay so likewise the conclusion with this video is that yeah put your hard work the luck will automatically come behind you that's the main intention of this video because there are many students uh, in the group also where they say that oh, because they are lucky they'll get the seat easily no don't worry about those things and all just give your hard work if not one the exam then you will get it in, get it in the another exam okay by studying for one exam you will be covering the portions for several other examinations it's not like you'll be concentrating on the single examination for example if you uh, prepare for SBAPO, then you will be prepared for almost five to six examination that will be conducted in india so likewise you need to have a positive mentality and uh, keep concentrated on your 
preparation okay so the main intention of this video was to say how much of luck is important okay so i, I guess you got you, you guys got the answer here so this uh, was the intention of this videos guys if you like the video please like it and share it with your friends that's all for today guys thank you